Hello everyone and welcome. I am Quack and Dragon and this is Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, when we last left off, we finally made some progress with the story. And, well I'll say finally, but for you guys it was really quick. <laughs> and we're going to save these priests and get those, um, we got treasure. Because why not? I mean, look at all the treasure in here. Let's make sure it's safe to be near treasure. Probably. I killed a lot of people. It's gonna hurt though. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we, we found out some fun stuff. But anyway, hopefully we'll leave Siwa today. And why can't I? There we go. Carbon crystal. Interesting. Ooh, cedar wood. Anyway, <laughs> focus. All right, here's two of them. Hello. Ah, I was like, what? Oh yeah, they're all dead over there. I might as well go over there. I guess it doesn't respawn then. I don't know. Bayak, what are you doing here? Ah, freeing you. And stealing things. You don't need to know the rest of that. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan. I mean, Captain Sir! What? Me and Little Bit Lizzie, well, Little Bit Lizzie and I, correct grammar there, uh, we're talking about how this is like the first AC game that we actually don't understand what people are talking about. Because, you know, there's uh, Italian is very similar to, like, Spanish. And, of course, like, and Black Flag that I could understand that perfect. It's like, ah, that's good. But yeah, this this is the only one I'm like, oh gosh, I have no idea what they're saying. But that's cool, like, because, hey, <laughs> you can't understand every language. Unless you're super smart, which I am not. <laughs> Bip! He would totally be dead. Boop, and gone are my fingers. Goodbye. What is that? Nothing. Oh, flamingo. That's so pretty. He's in pain now. <laughs> Just like, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Alright. Come. Noble steed? Hello? There you are. There's my noble steed. I can't wait to face off a hippo and a crocodile. They're gonna eat me. But it'll be so fun. There you are. I found you! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me top off. Okay, good. My cow is better, sir. Where's my camel? <laughs> He's derpy, okay? Just leave him alone. <laughs> Are you ready? It is a long journey. You can return later. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it! I'm so excited! I've been seeing this place forever. <laughs> I'm ready for another place. I'm ready to be a I must leave society. Siwa. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Yes. Especially the one known as the snake. How will you They're find so the snake? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said that you are coming to tell you one word. Serapis. Serapis? The god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And Bike, do something about that beard. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. So I don't hate on his beard. Sinu loves his beer. There's Sinu! Oh. Okay. The world went away. First steps. Yay! Oh shit! Now. Layla, you need a oh. refill on Sakwasporin. Stat. Layla! Wakey, wakey! Layla. Ooh. Don't make me come down there. Huh. 
Layla? Layla! <coughs> Come on back! Layla, are you with me? Habibti! I told you not to call me that. The thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. <laughs> I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The Animus is rejecting you. <sighs> I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. <laughs> so? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest to Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not gonna be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. Anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. So, okay. Hmm. Well, we're Layla, apparently. So she works for Sturgo? Like your background. <laughs> oh gosh, so much to see. Oh geez. Okay. Documentation. Employee. Oh geez. Goodness. All this is very boring. <laughs> I swear Ubisoft is too too clever for their own good sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, this apparently, if anyone's seen the movie, the Assassin's Creed movie, for one, it was okay. Like, if you're a fan, you'll definitely enjoy it. If you're just into movies, not sure you will, because there's a lot that they kind of just gloss over and assume that you know uh, via, like, the games and stuff. But the the animus that was used in the movie is call apparently called Aerie. I don't remember if they actually touched on that in the movie. But yeah, here it is. And so far, all of this is just, oh, you know, we have technicians, we have medical, this is how the Animus came to be. And just like the specs of it, it's nothing like super, super groundbreaking just yet. Okay, and this is what the sarcophagus is what we're in right now. Nothing in there. Bayak notes. Aha. It worked! I mean, the side effects suck, but my portable animus is up and running. See what I did, Sevilla? So, I don't know how long it was in there, but it was long enough. But I think this, what was it again? Magi. Magi? Like a cop or sheriff? Don't this up. Look this up. Find a good description. Bayak could be a member of this brotherhood of assassins, same as the other subjects Upsugar has been studying. List of things so far. The man is just about as stubborn as I am. He's good at talking to people and fighting too. People see him as a protector and defender. His community admires and respects him, even though they backstabbed him, maybe? He's a shadow when he comes to not being seen. Okay, yeah. Woo! I'm doing good on my stealth. Yeah, I guess he fits the profile in part, but I wonder. He's got the tortured soul thing down pat. Hellbent on vengeance and all that stuff. He's got his own thing going on. I can feel it as though it were me. Which I guess it was for a while. This is so weird. His feelings. So much anger, sadness, and hate. So much guilt. Anyway, I need more information. Aya. Uh, I remember that name coming up. I remember the flutter in Bayek's stomach when he heard it. Maybe she's the answer. Only one way to find out. Dee's gonna love this. Oh. Alright. What's this? Nothing. Okay, I have to watch or like the other assassins because it sounds familiar. But it's just been so long since I played the other one. So I have no idea. Oh wait, is this... Yeah, is this addressing what happened into the movie? Maybe. Maybe that's why it sounds familiar. Uh, Layla Hassan. It's me! Uh, Sophia. I've just seen the news about your dad. Pl 
please let me oh wait a second yeah cuz the dude had a daughter and she went all oh, I'm gonna kill her. there's assassins now kind of mentality at the end of the movie please let me know what you're that you're okay I know you had to be there too they're still evacuating people from the district and honestly that gas leak story seems like the worst cover-up I've heard in a long time I know you told me to stop the emails but tonight I really need to know are you okay were they friends all right um ah no okay oh yeah oh yeah I see. I'll admit, it's hard to know what's going on in this scene. From what I could tell from the CCTV footage, the plates match Oliver's car retail, rental, and it does look like him, but, well, that's not his best angle, to say the least. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> he's getting shot down. It's all speculation, of course, because the official version is that he never made it to Chicago, but I know otherwise. Yeah, in uh, Watch Dogs, you get to kill him. From Big Circle. It was like a little wink from, uh, well, two assassins and the theory that he's an assassin in a way. But yeah. And Desmond. Let's. Oh gosh. So much on Desmond. Okay, let's go ahead. Found subject 17's initial medical report after a team picked him up in NYC and flew him over to Abstergal campus in Rome. He was fit and cleared for the Animus in September 2012. Willingly, uh, oh yeah, willingly <laughs> on the project, yeah, yeah, no. And yet he was found dead three months later in a cave in upstate New York. Apparently on the run. What happened to him? What, why did he leave? Oh, you'll see. So this girl's slowly trying to piece together what the heck she's, well, who the heck she's working for. Oh, uh, you don't know the half of it. Okay, let's check my mail. Oh my jeez. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's check pictures. Pictures are interesting. Riding my bike in Queens. Oh, his little her. His little Layla. Up to no good. Okay, so she's very smart in the electronics division. Backstage. <laughs> It's kind of weird looking with, like, real people, though. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> the Call of Adventure. See you later, Billy. Uh, my entry for the D... Pinball. Oh. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Layla. Ask me anything. Uh, audio? Oh, gosh. Okay, let's listen to the audio. So long, and thanks for all the fish, Berkeley. March 21st, 2006. The day Layla Hassan drops out of college. That's right, Professor Moore. I'm not finishing that Jane Eyre paper. I got a job, and I'm headed to Philly next week. This whole classroom thing... It's not for me. Mom and dad are freaking out, but they'll accept it. I'll be working towards something real, making real money, and I'll be closer to home. Not that I'll visit any more often. Sophia promised there would always be a place for me at Absurgo, as long as I show them what I can do with a circuit board and a pair of pliers. Sure, I'll have to work my way up to a place on her special project, but that doesn't matter. It won't be long before she or her father, Mr. Alan Ricken, Notices what I'm capable of and asks for my help on the Animus. <laughs> you don't want to help them. I swear, I get more done reading the latest copy of Wired on the toilet than the rest of the guys do all day in the lab. I mean, the body band? Really? If people can't take a walk on their own, they aren't going to listen to a watch that tells them to do it either. This is all so <laughs> pointless. I should just go back to... Wait. That's probably what the body band would tell me to do. What I should do is build something that will simultaneously blow people's minds and the doors off the Animus Project. Nothing at Abstergo Fitness is going to be big enough for that. I'm bored as hell. 
but there's nothing like boredom to stimulate creativity. Yep, I think the body band needs a little adjustment to its language processing program. I don't think she washed her hands, but let's go next. The right decision always feels like home. My stuff's the same. My locker smells the same. It's like I never left, but I did. And I can never unlearn what I know now. How will it change my work at the historical research division? Hard to say. All I know is that it will. Our Dom booked us a lunch. Nothing fancy. She wanted me to meet Deanna Geary, my new medical officer. She looks like she was born in the middle of a cornfield, but she seems okay. I can't believe she left homemade cookies on my desk. I don't know why I told her about getting stood up last weekend. I never talk about personal stuff at work. At least it seems like I can trust her. You need that to stay alive in the field. Too bad most of Abstergo's tactical units don't consider trust a priority. I don't blame them. Aho, the portable animus. No mention in the official credits, but all those emails, all those middle of the night phone calls from Madrid, there's a lot of me in there. Sophia, if I'd known you just wanted to strip mine my brain and leave me in the dark, I never would have followed you. Go away! There's no candy here! Nothing in life is ever free. Ever. The Animus. I can tell. I know it wouldn't have worked without my advice. Just look how they did the heat sink, the VRMs, the high amperage rating by transistor. It was me who told them it would offset failure of the... What's this? Hello there, DNA reader module. Are you ringing my doorbell? Maybe there's some candy here after all. Hmm. I've come to the conclusion that Sophia is shit at hiring staff. The entire Madrid facility. Ugh. How do they not see it? It would be so easy. You just have to parse the genetic memory input and work from smaller data pools. You could even process incomplete samples and still create a reliable model for high levels of synchronization. The reader module and the decryption software would need an update, but it's doable. Madrid's probably congratulating themselves just for getting this far. Meanwhile, I'm partying with some congealed veggie curry, three plasma screens, a disassembled animus, and Raw Victoria's debut album on loop. Sahete. Dee will be mad when she sees how I use Milton's DNA, but what did she expect when she asked me for help? I needed someone's genetic profile to test the animus, and, well, his was right there. All in the name of science. Hmm. I like morning briefings. They're short, minimal nonsense, and they have free coffee. No downtime this week. They're putting me and Dee on a plane to Alexandria two days from now. I don't get why Hathaway's in such a rush. We're being deployed to extract an artifact. If it were a person of interest, the push would make more sense. A person could be halfway across the world in a couple of hours. But an artifact that's been sitting around for 2,000 years, it's not going anywhere. An artifact of high interest. Heard that before. It always ends up being some crappy pottery shard or half an old book. My animus runs on DNA, not tableware. It'll be strange visiting Egypt for the first time since 2013. Back then, I went looking for my roots found trouble instead. It's good that Dee's coming. She always keeps me from doing anything too stupid. Turns out the artifact of high interest is also a person of interest. A mummy. And a golden opportunity. I've informed Dee of some changes I'm making to our assignment parameters. She acted mad, but I know she's eager to see my animus field tested. Abstergo won't mind. Well, they would if they found out. But they won't. <laughs> Hathaway's intel was a disaster. They have no idea what's going on with this extraction. Field tech is fun and all, but that's not why I left Berkeley. If the Animus lets me ride DNA this old, if the reader can model the missing codons and extrapolate the genetic memories that aren't mine, Sophia would lose her. Abstergo. Abstergo will come to me on their hands and knees. My name will be right up there with Warren Biddix. Alameda Kidaminda. Too bad the Madrid facility got blown up. But I bet they'll build a new one soon. This one will be in Philly, and its lead engineer will be Leila Hassan. Hmm. 
That's very interesting. I just don't... It's like, if you're that smart and, like... <laughs> I mean, because of Animus. Like, if it really existed, is amazing. Like, you go into someone's DNA and, like, relive their past or their ancestors' past. Like, if you could build something like that, then or at least modify it, then how the heck do you not know who you work for? Okay, so emails are pretty much just her and her medical peeps talking. Oh gosh, okay. Oh. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? My ex-mummy. Nice. Real chatterbox. Oh! Oh my gosh. Hi, Bayek. Need that med kit. Well, I mean... Uh... <laughs> at least you are mummified. Okay, let's, let's do it and hopefully it doesn't, like, kick me out. Got the psychos for him. Two CC should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. That's your problem right there. There's a rock on this. Yeah. Going back. I think in. I got everything. This is so badass. Be careful. Nah. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, I didn't even... Hi. Secrets of the First Pyramids. I must protect this great land. Alexandria is where the snake thrives, and Aya lives. I must find them both. Oh my. Wait, where am I? Ah, copper! Da -da -da -da. Will there be crocodiles? I don't know. I don't know. Let's kill all these people. Because they're in my way. Ooh. So much copper! <gasps> yes. Oh, why is there a cat on that ship? I don't know. Ooh. We got a new location. <laughs> so it seems like the, the map has finally opened up for us. But oh my goodness, I have a lot of leveling up to do <laughs> right now. And but we're finally in a place where I can battle people who are around my own age, my own age. <laughs> yes, I am 80 years old. But uh yeah, I look forward to the challenge. But I'll call it a recording here. So, I don't know how long it's going to be because there's so many Oh, uh, so much reading, <laughs> and I don't know how much I cut out because a lot of it was not really important at all. It was just more like filler stuff in case you didn't play the other games. But at the same time, you there's some just like oh, you kind of had to know in order to them that makes any sense to you. It's like who is this person? Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you could just real quick go and watch someone else's playthrough of the old ones, and then come back and watch this one but yeah nothing really important but it's nice to see the present day that was interesting and Layla hopefully will be a good person I mean from this standpoint that assassins are the good people uh, yeah, I mean there's always debate for that in any side but 
hopefully she sees the light and sees that Abstergo is not the greatest people to be working with. But yeah, for now, I'm going to call this a day and because I've been recording for so long. Like you don't even know because I was reading the all that stuff. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, thank you so much for watching my videos. It re I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!